Hello my friends, Gabriel here, back with another video and today I'm gonna talk about what I'm running on my Android device as you already know, I'm running the Nexus 6 for a couple of weeks already I do enjoy the device I made a lot of videos about the Nexus 6 so uh, head on to my channel and uh, check those videos also I'm gonna show you what uh, apps I use and um, basically what uh, my type of usage is as I uh, take a lot of pictures and uh, videos and uh, I'm a huge media uh, consumer you have to understand that uh, most of the apps that I have installed on my Android uh, devices are uh, basically media, uh, media apps thus uh, focusing a lot on uh, camera apps, uh, photo editing and um, also video editing and also a lot of apps um, that enable me to download and uh, to watch uh, media content so let's start with the first thing the way that I customize my device and uh, for customization I only use one app I use a custom launcher it's the same launcher that I'm using uh, for almost uh, five years I think it's my favorite launcher it's called Go Launcher you can find it in the Google Play Store, it's free so uh, head on if you like it and uh, and download it uh, the biggest um, thing for which I use Go Launcher is the fact that uh, it enables me to downsize the icons on the home screen and throughout the UI because I'm not a big fan of uh, huge icons and uh, those of you who are using uh, Xperia devices from Sony you know that uh, with uh, the lollipop update uh, the icons got uh, very big and very ugly at least for my taste so this is an option for you a free option to downsize uh, those icons there is also Nova Launcher but uh, you have to pay uh, if you want to enable uh, this feature to, to make uh, your icons look uh, smaller as I said this is my preferred launcher it's uh, the only launcher that I use on every single Android device I did try uh, everything else that's uh, on the market including Nova but for me I always come back to, to the Go, uh, to Go launcher the only widget that I always use on my uh, home screen is my weather and clock widget which you can also download for free in the Play Store this is it it's just enough to type in uh, Play Store weather and uh, I think it's the first or the second result it's a very good uh, weather widget uh, with uh, very good forecasts with uh, detailed forecasts for um, even 10 days uh, this is my favorite I like the layout I like the UI also all the options that, uh, that it has as I said it's free and uh, available in the Google Play Store and because I talk about uh, the camera and I like to take a lot of pictures I also download um, a few apps the first one and uh, the most comprehensive one if you want uh, it's called a better camera and uh, it has a lot a lot of options especially if you're using a Nexus device which um, comes only with uh, the Google camera pre-installed which is a pretty basic one uh, you don't have a lot of options a lot of settings to, to fiddle with a better camera it's a very comprehensive app it allows you to tweak a lot it allows you to use uh, manual controls uh, to adjust the shutter speed, exposure, ISO and so on also it enables you to use uh, different resolutions for uh, video recording and uh, another app that I use for the camera is called Open Camera which uh, basically does the same thing as um, the one that I previously showed you but uh, it doesn't have uh, that many options but this, these two are the ones that, uh, that I personally use and um, the ones that um, I really really like because I take a lot of pictures I also sometimes edit some of them uh, trying to, to play with uh, photo editing to create something uh, amazing 
and for that uh, the only app that I'm using it's uh, Snapseed I did try uh, Adobe Photoshop, I did uh, try uh, Lightroom uh, and uh, many other apps uh, out there on the market but uh, for me my personal favorite uh, remains Snapseed I like the interface, I like uh, the settings, I like the options um, and uh, especially the results uh, that uh, come out uh, from this uh, this great app talking about media consumption for watching videos I use uh, VLC for Android and uh, I have to say it's a very reliable app uh, I had no issues so far uh, ever since it came out of beta uh, the app is uh, very good uh, the other app that I uh, usually used um, for watching videos was uh, BS Player and uh, so far these are the single uh, two best apps for uh, media consumption for video watching especially that, uh, that I used in the last years and uh, that I really enjoyed uh, on Android devices if I want to listen to radio the only app that I'm using is uh, TuneIn Radio. I think that everyone knows this app. They have evolved. Uh, right now they are um, more, uh, let's say, uh, a social media app. You can also um, use it as, uh, let's say, for example, Instagram, Twitter or, uh, Twitter or uh, Facebook. So um, it has evolved and it's a very good experience overall with uh, TuneIn Radio. If I want to download uh, anything, I always use uTorrent. So far, the only app that um, I really enjoy using with uh, great download speeds. And uh, I'm not gonna go uh, into this too much because I don't encourage uh, piracy. So uh, this is all uh, that you have to know. uTorrent is my uh, is my choice. For the social uh, media. I use uh, only these ones Facebook, uh, Instagram, Facebook Messenger, Twitter, Google Plus and uh, my favorite one if you want uh, Flickr because as I said uh, already I do take a lot of pictures and uh, I like to, to upload them uploading to Facebook uh, decreases the quality of the pictures but uh, on Flickr you simply upload the original uh, file and uh, I don't know if you want to download it afterwards you just simply download the, the file that it was uh, taken by the camera not the same thing with Facebook so uh, Flickr for me it's a must-have it's an excellent app with an excellent uh, interface and um, you're gonna see a lot of uh, cool stuff um, on Flickr for web browsing this is uh, probably the only app that uh, never but never uh, disappears from my uh, devices no matter it's uh, Android, iOS or uh, Windows Phone it's uh, Opera browser for Android this for me is the best uh, web browser available on the market for um, Android devices I use this uh, browser ever since uh, Symbian was the big daddy of uh, mobile OS's so for me it's been a really great experience with uh, lots of uh, cool features, uh, saving data and uh, whatnot, uh, offline uh, mode and so on. I do like the interface, I do like um, how things look. Very simple, very intuitive and uh, for me, as I said, it's uh, my uh, preferred uh, web browser. I really hate Chrome, I don't like it. Um, so for me it's a no-go Opera browser for Android is the best I highly recommend it also I have some maps uh, that um, enable me to, to see what uh, my stats are uh, on YouTube AdSense also something uh, for sales uh, this is um, for my country only and uh, in the gaming department you have to know I'm not the biggest fan of uh, gaming especially on mobile devices um, basically because they don't have the power and also because of the screen size 
but uh, as always I have to download some games to to test them on uh, my devices so uh, the most uh, used ones for me are uh, Asphalt 8, Need for Speed No Limits and um, FIFA 15 or 14 I personally, personally love FIFA 14 I consider it to be a lot better than FIFA 15 when uh, for testing purposes I, uh, I installed both of them let me know if you want to, to know how uh, Need for Speed No Limits uh, gets installed on your Android device and um, I'm gonna make a separate video just leave a comment in the comment section so these are the only games that I um, really install uh, sometimes I do install uh, let's say uh, Angry Birds uh, just to see how it runs and uh, for a quick uh, playtime let's say but uh, I'm not the biggest fan of uh, games. I also install on Tutu for benchmarks uh, again not a big fan of synthetic benchmarks they don't reflect uh, the real performance of uh, the device uh, in real life um, so uh, not a big fan of them but for testing purposes I do have to install on Tutu and I also use uh, Geekbench 3 or uh, Quadrant uh, for this purpose Everything else are basically Google's own apps uh, that come by default with uh, with the device and uh, with the OS. So as you can see, I don't uh, install a huge amount of apps and uh, especially stupid games and um, things that I don't really need. These are the apps that I always always use on my Android devices. These are apps that I've been I've been using for a couple of years already. These apps uh, for me are a must-have on every single Android device that I use. These are the apps that I um, use more often and uh, basically they are the apps that uh, I trust when, uh, when handling uh, my uh, Android uh, devices and uh, the things that I do with uh, my devices. I know there are a lot of people out there who install uh, hundreds of apps and uh, games and uh, whatnot. Uh, I'm not interested, I don't play games uh, and the apps that I need are uh, the apps that I just uh, shown you. So this pretty much does it for this video guys. This is what uh, I have on my Android device on my Nexus 6 and basically this is everything that I have always on uh, any single Android device that I buy or um, try. These are the apps that uh, never disappear from my device. I've been using them for a couple of years already and uh, I trust them. I had no issues. So uh, for me, these are the best apps uh, in my opinion. For you, it uh, may differ. And if you have uh, some better apps than, uh, to recommend than uh, these that I use, uh, please leave a comment in the comment section. I'm always um, eager to try uh, new things and new stuff and uh, to discover um, new things that uh, help me especially with uh, my camera experience and uh, let's say my overall multimedia experience on, uh, on my device as I said I'm a very multimedia centric uh, user so my usage is uh, very intense it's um, I'm a hard user a power user so uh, do let me know in the comment section uh, if you have something interesting for me. Okay, thank you for watching this video. Give it a like if you liked it. Also, share it. And if you didn't already, do subscribe to my channel for future videos. As always, my friends, uh, I'm Gabriel and I wish you all the best. Be safe, be good, peace.